Hello, this is Mrs. Bobby. And this lesson you're going to need to put in the back of the module one, two book. There's going to be a blank page in the very, very back. And this goes along with lesson 17. So we're going to call this lesson 17 divisibility rules. All right. So here we go. Divisibility rules. These divisibility means can a number go into another number evenly with no leftovers, no remainders, no annexing of zero, nothing. It has to go in nicely. So you're going to see a few rules at a time. Now, there's going to be seven rules that I'm going to give you. So there's I'm going to be moving the screen in just a little bit. So a number is divisible by two if it ends in an even number. So even numbers are 0, 2, 4, 6, or 8. So for instance, the number 58 it ends in an even number, so that's divisible by 2, whereas 75 would not be divisible by 2, so it doesn't end in a 0, 2, 4, 6, 8. Uh, can be very long numbers, 42,180. That right there is divisible by 2 because it ends in an even number. That's what that rule means. Number three's rule, if the sum of the digits is divisible by three. So for instance, in the parentheses, I put 347. So 347, if we put little plus signs in between. Three plus four is seven, seven plus seven is 14. Can three go into 14? No, because the sum of the digits was 14 and it does not work. So let's look at 588. So there's... 5 plus 8 plus 8, that's 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. Can 3 go into 21 nicely? Yes. So that's what we mean by adding the digits. Now, moving the screen a little bit, if the last two numbers are divisible by 4, that means if we have the number 586, we look and we say, hey, can 4 go into 86? And we can divide on the side if we do not know. This, in fact, is a no, because 4 can go into 8 nicely, but it can't go into 6 nicely. So let's look at 1,240. Can 4 go into 40? Yes. So that's how we know that's the last two digits. A number is divisible by 5 if it ends in a 5 or 0. So if I have the number 560, that would be a yes, because it ends in a 0 or a 5. But if we have 712... This does not end in a 5 or a 0, so that would be a no. So if the 2 and the 3 rule works, that's the rule that works for 6. So for instance, is this number divisible by 2? Yes. And let's add up these digits. 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Can 3 go into 9? Yes. So if we said yes to 2 and yes to 3, we say yes to 6. So let's look at 1,284. It works for 2, so yes to 2. Because of the even number, let's add up these digits. So we have 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. The sum of those digits is 15. Can 3 go into 15? Yes. So it works for 2 and 3. That means it works for 6. So now we look at the nines rule and the tens rule. And the nines rule is just like the threes rule. You add up the digits. So if we have 1,286, we add up those digits. 8, 9, 10, 11, 11 and 6 is 17. So that would be a no. It does not work for that. Let's do 9,810. 9 plus 8 is 17. Plus 1 is 18. It equaled 18. Can 9 go into 18? That would be a yes. Numbers are visible by 10 if it ends in a 0. That is kind of common sense. If you see it, it ends in a 0, then it works. If it doesn't end in a 0, then it's a no. All right, so now we're going to try one that works for everything, or we're going to try all the rules. I'm going to erase this down here. So uh, we're just going to pull the number 1,284, and then we're going to work with 42,620. And underneath, I'm going to write all the rules in a row. And then 
If it works, I'm going to circle it. If it doesn't work, we're going to cross it out. This number is divisible by 2 because it's an even number. It is not divisible by 5 because it doesn't end in a 5 or a 0. It is not divisible by 10 because it does not end in a 0. Let's check the 4's rule. 84. Can 4 go into 8? Yes, twice. No leftovers. Can 4 go into 4? Yes, 4 works. If not, remember, don't be afraid to do that. We gotta check the threes rule. Let's add these digits up. Eight, nine, 10, 11. 11 and four is 15. I'm gonna write that above it. Can three go into 15? Yes. I said yes to two and three. I say yes to six. The adding rule also is the nines rule. Can nine go into 15, that sum above? No, cross that out. Now we're gonna check the next one. Is this number divisible by 10? Yes, it ends in a zero. It's divisible by five because it ends in a zero. It's divisible by two because zero is an even number. Check for the fours rule. Can it go into four? Can four go into 20 nicely? Yes. Let's check the threes rule. Let's add these digits. Four, five, six. Six and six is 12. 13, 14. The sum is 14. Does not work for three. I said no to three. I say no to six. The nines rule is the sum rule also. Can nine go into that 14? No. That is a wrap on divisibility rules. And as always, I love math.